Hey everyone, welcome back to another Lead Code Daily Problem Solution video. Today we are going to solve the problem time needed to inform all employees. It is June 3 problem and let's go read the description and see what this problem states. So it says that a company has N employees and each employee has an unique ID starting from 0 to N minus 1 the head of the company is the one with head id so you will be given a head id then each employee has one direct manager given in the manager array which is this array this array mentions about the managers and the manager is uh, direct manager of the ith employee uh, and it says something and the head who is the head the head doesn't have any manager also it is guaranteed that the subordination relationships have a tree structure okay that's good now what this problem states the problem states that the head of the company wants to inform all the company employees of an urgent piece of news suppose there's a critical situation in the office or we need to decide something uh, maybe it's a government office and you need to decide something and you need to uh, send the message to all the government sectors okay so that's how it can uh, happen so it uh, needs the uh, manager wants to inform all the company employees and he will inform his direct subordinates right so i'm i'm the ceo i'll uh, who i will notify i'll notify the subordinate that's just beside i'll notify my assistant then my assistant will notify some in your senior engineers or uh, the product or project managers and then the project managers will uh, inform seniors right this is how the subordination relations work then they will uh, inform their subordinates and so until all employees know about the urgent news this is how they can uh, happen so the uh, ith employee yeah there's also one more thing that uh, is mentioned by inform time the ith employee's time to inform its subordinates is uh, added in inform time yeah so we need to return the minutes needed from uh, needed to inform all employees about the urgent news the number of minutes so it's actually the maximum time it requires so uh, let's uh, see the example so in first example we have only one employee and that he is the head of his himself so there's no one no subordinate to, so if he doesn't need any time to inform any other uh, if this inform time is uh, zero then uh, the output is zero the head of the company is the only employee in the company so it doesn't need anyone to inform so uh, let's go to example two this is fairly good example so what it says here uh, let me describe the uh, image here so here it says that uh, there are six employees okay totally six employees we can uh, i have uh, done a clear visualization here this is one two three four five six six employees are here and the head is employee number two so uh, we have this manager array here where it mentions that who is the manager of index which index so from here we can see that uh, we are in index let's index the array 1 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so uh, who is the manager of index 0 or the employee 0 the manager is index 2 index 2 so the head and the actual head is 2 so the topmost head let me just write it here the topmost head this is the head currently this is the head and its employee id is 2 okay now for uh, manager who is the manager of employee 0 Im for employee 0 the manager is 2 so this is employee 0 so this is employee i'm writing employee employee 0 so for employee 0 his manager is 2 okay there's a relation then for employee 1 his manager is 2 so this is employee 1 his manager is also employee 2 then for employee 2 which is this one this guy doesn't have any manager because this is the head this is the topmost head so it, he doesn't have any parent but uh, for employee 3 he has also manager 2 so uh, this is employee 3 we have pointed it here then for similarly employee 4 then for employee 5 yeah all of them have manager who is employee id 2 so they can be shown like this right okay now this is how they are connected now what is the time required so 
uh, yeah we can see from their employees 0 1 3 4 uh, they don't have any subordinates so the time will require so for them it's 0 for them it's 0 for them uh, the in uh, inform time is 0 inform time is 0 this is the inform time so this is written here for employee 0 this is 0 for employee 1 this is uh, 0 for employee 2 it is 1 for employee 2 it is 1 which is who, who is employee 2 the main head is employee 2 so for him for him to notify his subordinates for the uh, main head to notify its subordinates all of them to notify all of them all of them to notify all of them it takes only to notify all of them we can notify all of them at once just a push button or just to send a message in a group chat uh, to send and the time will be only one which is his time his time so this is the answer in this case this is the answer in this case so here we can see this is the answer so yeah i think you have understood what this is it is kind of like a graph problem let's discuss another example and uh, see how this works so here we have another example where we have 15 employees and yeah what is zero zero is the main head main head employee id and then we have some data where we mentioned that uh, zero is the main head so its manager is minus one then uh, yeah let me just write it uh, let me just uh, add it here let me just mark the index so this is the zero this is one this is two three so this is the index of the array now uh, index or employee id uh, just employee id or employee so zero is the topmost head where it's mentioned here and its parent is minus one then for one employee one its uh, head is uh, its manager is zero so uh, we marked it here its manager is zero so here's that here's that its parent is zero for employee two it's zero then similarly we have drawn this graph how much time does it require so for employee zero to inform its subordinate its subordinates are employee one and employee two he will inform he will inform him in one time one also him in one then he this guy then the second level uh, second level manager will inform uh, inform his subordinates his subordinates he'll inform them in one minute then he will inform them in one minute now what happens here is how we are going to construct uh, construct this how much time will what is the maximum time that requires and uh, that's needed so and what's the answer for this case uh, here we can see from in the top if we traverse from the topmost uh, cell then we see that it requires one one amount of time to uh, inform the second level then it requires uh, another one amount of time to uh, to inform the third level and then it requires another one level one in time to inform the fourth level which is the final level so the answer for this will be three so you can see from here that I've marked each edge, each edge with uh, the interval time that requires from parent to its age. So how uh, this process, how will this work? So what we will do, how can we generate such a graph? So from this data, we can generate uh, this graph by using adjacency list approach where we will actually uh, store the for each uh, for each index for each index in here we will actually store in a map in a map where what is the index value uh, what is the actual value so for each of the like for number minus one we will uh, uh, keep a list of nodes that are yeah, uh, that are for adjacent then for zero for uh, yeah for Mm, zero for zero for node zero we will keep the uh, index indices that are adjacent so uh, we'll keep one we'll keep two then which are then uh, there's no one else so this is how it's done then for one for index one for this one we will keep who who have one so index three and index four so we will keep the indices yeah 
this way so this way we can construct a hash map and this is actually the visualization in this image and we have also uh, shown the time interval the time interval from 0 to yeah 0 to uh, inform its uh, subordinates are mentioned here now we are going to solve this problem how we can solve this problem so I'm going to uh, show you a DFS solution you can also solve it in a BFS uh, pro method but I'm going to discuss you the DFS so uh, uh, yeah from starting from top starting from top we will uh, go to the we'll keep going to the bottom so when we reach the bottom this is a leaf node this is a leaf node this is just a, a so clear employee it doesn't have any subordinate to inform so it actually has zero and it doesn't have any subordinate to inform so what will he, uh, for this employee what will happen uh, he will return its time it requires to uh, require so he will return zero to him his him and he will return zero to him so both of them are returning zero they can there can be multiple subordinates multiple employees uh, in this case i am showing only two subordinates so they both will return zero so they have no one to inform so the informal the inform time for them is zero so what happens for his he, the, him when he gets uh, from them he will calculate the maximum the maximum from zero so the maximum from zero and zero he will get zero right he will get zero from maximum both of them from left and right this is left and this is right we have two uh, nodes uh, two children here left and right so for left is left and this is right so we'll get zero then he will return uh, the time required to its parent but he will return his time also that he took one minute to inform his subordinates so his subordinates didn't take a minute his subordinates take zero minute which is the max but he took but he took one minute one minute at one minute to inform them so he will return plus one and he will return one to its parent so yeah next his parent will also get a same data from here in this case this uh, happens the same let's just uh, change it uh, in this case uh, it happens the same but let's just change it let's just uh, mark this as two mark this as two and let's just mark this as three so what happens here so this guy will return to its parent uh, to its parent as uh, zero yeah okay uh, this one if this is two this is also gonna be two this is also gonna be two so yeah this guy will return to its parent uh, zero and this guy will also return to his parent zero because they don't have any subordinate to inform so what this guy will return to his parent it's it will return to its parent oh yeah uh, we cannot add this as three we need to add this as one because it will require same amount of time to inform both this one and this gun if we added three here then we will also need to add three here so yeah so uh, yeah uh, now this guy will inform him and how, how much time will it require it will require zero which is the maximum of uh, these two plus its time how much time does uh, did it took to inform uh, both of them it took two which is the two it took two and it will return it to its parent so its parent will have two from here so when it's considering it needs to consider from its left there can be multiple children but for currently we are showing left and right so from left it got one and from right it got two so what will it take it will take two then it will return to its parent the two plus the time it required to inform its children it required one we can see it required one so it will ret return two plus one equal three then for this parent also the same case will happen he will return the max that he got from his left is from his children left and right here we have showing only the left and right uh, so the max let's suppose this uh, actually returns uh, two so and this returns three so uh, the right 
the left portion will return 3 and the right portion will return 2 so from here he will return that this node is getting clumsy let me just remove uh, move it here <laughs> so he got 3 from its left and he will return he will uh, need one time minute to inform his uh, next level so that's why he will return his minute also with and uh, totally it will take four amount of time here you can see the pro uh, solution at first we are generating the graph so to generate the graph we have used the adjacency met adjacency list and we have uh, initialized the hash map then for each uh, member uh, we have stored them in the map in the list as a list and then added the added the list then uh, added re-added in the map uh, then we have uh, run dfs in the dfs array you can see for each a node uh, the initially maximum is zero if this is a leaf node uh, it doesn't contain any any of the it doesn't contain any children so uh, this will be null and for that it will return uh, zero so leaf nodes return zero and for each subordinate of the node if this is an internal node uh, or if this is a manager and has some subordinate we will get for each subordinate we will actually calculate uh, the dfs dfs means the uh, the the uh, time it requires for it uh, to uh, to notify its subordinates so we will take it and we will mark the max from left and right uh, i mean uh, someone can have uh, many subordinates uh, in the image i showed only left or right but it can have many of the subordinates uh, and then we return the max max and max we got and for the inform time that i require I require to inform my subordinates this is how the process is uh, happening and this is really easy we can also solve this in a BFS way in the BFS way it, it's also very, very easy we just uh, traverse the in a level order uh, manner and that's how it can be solved so this problem was I think this problem was understandable and I think this video was helpful to you if you uh, like if this video was helpful to you please like comment and subscribe thank you